Hello there. So I'm going to run through board six from this Children in Need duplicate. We've been hosting the Children in Need duplicates on Real Bridge and also we host supervised practice on Real Bridge. Lots of duplicates on Bridge Base Online and there's details in the show notes as well about my daily bridge casts. So there are lots of opportunities to play bridge online at these tricky times. Hope you've been enjoying playing in these children in need duplicates for a very good cause of course. Now this is a bit of fun this board number six east west of vulnerable dealer is east pass pass so I've got mixed uh, views about whether or not West should open. In third chair you can be light to open although the vulnerability is slightly daunting. The problem with opening though is that you'd you'd bid one spade wouldn't you as the high fives and that's not really the suit you want to get across to your partner. Swap the majors round I would definitely open one spade if my spades were my hearts and my hearts were my spades but I just don't think I'm going to I'm going to bid with that hand. Maybe I'll get to do a Michael's bid and show both my five card majors, depending on, on the auction. But I think I'm just going to pass in third chair and not open one spade, the suit I want to be led less, my weaker major. North is going to open one diamond. What a very nice hand that is. South is going to respond one heart. That's a, a one bid hand, so it's not good enough to bid two clubs. I know that it does satisfy the rule of 14, but the thing is if you bid two clubs and your partner rebids two diamonds, you'll have to pass and you may have missed a heart fit. So it's better to bid one heart when you have a one bid hand. Give me an extra queen, a two bid hand, and I'll bid two clubs and then I'll follow with a heart bid. So one heart from south and now west. Again, we've got a choice whether to pass or to bid one spade. But if North's about to rebid no trump, I really want my partner to lead a spade and not a club when I have a low singleton. So I'm going to poke in a bit of one spade, although the suit is slightly subpar. North now has a fairly clear bid, which is three spades, a splinter bid, agreeing hearts, showing a singleton, maybe a void spade and a raise to at least four hearts. Not absolutely ideal to have a bare ace for your splinter, but I wouldn't be uh, too purist about it. For me, that's a clear three spade bid. East, I don't think East is going to be taking a vulnerable against not sacrifice in four spades. Knowing partners are past hand, East passes. South's not got slam aspirations. King of spades looks downgraded. Four hearts. Pass. Pass, pass. Interesting, eh? West, by the way, has to just pass in tempo and not look too interested. But clearly West is hopeful of defeating the contract. And West is going to lead the four of clubs, Singleton, hoping for some roughs. Now, it is an interesting hand to play this. That four of clubs does look a little bit uh, suspicious. Perhaps it's a singleton. It would be good to find out if it's a singleton. Because if we adopt a line based around drawing trumps and then running the clubs and then the clubs don't split, we may run out of trumps. I think we should lead the queen of clubs and find find out if it's a singleton and if it is a singleton and it gets roughed it's almost certainly roughed at the cost of a natural trump trick. So West does rough and now West exits safely with a spade to the ace. All right so I'm still unwilling to play on the trumps. I'll run out of tricks on many layouts if I do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Ace of Diamonds, noting the 10 from West, and a rougher diamond, 
noting the king. So you wouldn't think West would have six spades. West didn't open in third chair, didn't make a weak jump. If West has only two diamonds, as is suggested by the two diamond plays, the ten, then the king, and only one club, maybe West really does have all the five missing hearts. It's not 100% clear, but it is certainly a possibility. So what we're going to do is we're going to play the king of spades. We're going to shed the club from the dummy. And now we're going to rough a spade. Going to rough a diamond. The six or the nine, it makes no odds. And West over roughs with the ten. West doesn't want to lead hearts from their King Jack 4. Wouldn't help if West did. So West is going to lead a spade. East follows. So now we know the shapes. We know West begun with five spades, two diamonds, one club, and therefore all five hearts. So now we can rough the spade in our hand. We can lead Ace of clubs, any old club would have done there, but ace of clubs. West can do no better than rough it low. Over rough. Now we're going to rough the diamond with the queen of hearts. And all West can do is over rough with the king, lead a spade. We can rough low in the dummy and we can score the last trick with the ace of trumps. Style points, winning the last trick with the Ace of Trumps, drawing West's Jack, and we have made it. We lost only three Trump tricks to West. Interesting. You'd be pleased to make that at the table, wouldn't you? If West doubled it, then maybe you'd have more reason to do the right thing. Without the double, we had to be a little bit inspired there to, to play another top club at trick two rather than try a heart. If we'd led an early heart, I'm afraid no chance of making. We had to make lots of trumps separately there to make it. Hope you enjoyed the deal and the whole Children in Need duplicate. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.